Well, thousands of K-12 students here in Metro Detroit are waking up for their first day of school. That includes kids in the Howell Public Schools District, and things are going to look a little different. Yeah, no doubt about it. 7X News reporter Jen Shant is live in Howell this morning to break down what kids can expect when they show up at school for the first time. Well, Keenan, we've seen a couple school buses go by already. It's the first time, obviously, we've seen that in several months. Things are definitely going to look and feel a lot different for the thousands of K through 12 students returning here to Howell Public Schools for the first time since March. We're about an hour away from that first bell ringing. A familiar sound, one students haven't heard since March. And this morning, Howell Public Schools welcoming back students for in-person learning, one of the first districts in Metro Detroit to do so. I really believe we have two crises going on right now. I think we have a health crisis that's going on, but I also think we have an education crisis going on, and I think our kids need to be in school. 85% of parents here are opting for in-person learning, while 15% are choosing to keep their kids at home for now. I'm concerned that they're not organized by any means. My fear is, is that Kids are going to go back to school and then turn around and it's going to get shut down again. Emily Saylor, a mom of three, is worried her kids won't keep their masks on or wear them properly. Per state guidelines, Howell requires face coverings for grades 6 through 12. We're actually going to cohort our elementary students and so they will not be having to wear facial coverings throughout the entire day because we're able to keep them in those small cohorts. Along with smaller groups, the district plans to put an emphasis on personal hygiene. Personal hygiene is always something that we um, take seriously, but this year we're going to be very intentional about taking time to teach personal hygiene. We're going to do the best we can and go with it, you know, but we're, but we're excited to get to get back to it and, and in person they, they need that interaction. Now today is just a half day. Also Thursday and Friday of this week will be half days for students here, but starting next week, full days will resume. And again, that first bell for high school students here at Howell High School rings in exactly one hour. So we'll be talking to students and parents here shortly. Reporting live this morning in Howell, Jen Schantz, 7 Action News. Uh